What's up, Caroline? Um, so here's a guitar lesson for those kind of interesting little funky bits in Billie Jean uh, that are really uh, kind of important in making this song interesting. Because um, yeah, from what I was listening to yesterday, it was just, it's just kind of it sounds good, but it's just kind of flat. It's got a couple of things that you can add into it to make it really cool. So um, the first of them is the way you play the B minor chord. Um, in it's kind of the chorus in the Billie Jean is not my lover that section. So you're going from this is after the um you know people always told me be careful what you do don't go there's a C sharp major chord in there. Back in Billie Jean. So what I'm doing there, that's just the bottom half of a B minor bar chord. You can do the bar chord if you like. Just aim for, when you're strumming it, aim for the bottom three strings. The other alternative is to play literally the bottom half of it. So if you can see the way you probably wouldn't be able to see from that. When my fourth finger, second finger, and first finger, barring the bottom string, goes actually doing this. Just using, just using different fingers for it. So if you don't like doing the bar chord, you can just use the three of those. Now, I like to keep this part of my hand on top of the other strings, so I don't actually accidentally catch them. Or you can mute with your thumb on your left hand, hanging over across the top three strings. So there's three different ways you can do that. So bar chord, aiming for the bottom, right hand mute on the top three strings, or left thumb mute, whichever you prefer. Now, um, the best, the way you sort of strum that, it's got that sort of aggressive but funky kind of sound to it. Now, I'll do it really slowly for you. So it's kind of like um, short, sharp sort of stabs on the chord with a couple of ghost notes in between. And if you can see with my left hand, what I'm doing here, I squeeze down on the notes for the chord, and then don't take, I'm not taking my fingers off the strings. I'm just releasing the pressure that I've got on them. So when I'm just touching the strings like that, I get that sound. So I squeeze down, release. So it's like down on the chord, then down up on the ghost. And this is really one of those things that it's just a matter of you get the feel for it, then practice slowly, practice slowly. You more, the more you get the hang of it, the easier it becomes. that you back into your chords, etc. Pardon me. Now, um, it helps to get that sort of aggressive sound to it. You really emphasize the chord you actually play. So it's, you know, the one that actually squeezes between each of the ghost notes. I'm really putting um, a bit of force into the pick behind it. Um, 
So yeah, that's how you do that that bit. The next bit is the that kind of. back and do it after it. So what I'm doing here is it's a single note kind of riff from the ninth fret on the uh, D string. I'm plucking the ninth with my third, which is being played by my first finger and hammering my third finger onto the 11th fret. So I'm plucking that once and hammering on my th third finger then back to the first finger for an up pick. And I'm kind of doing this sort of like ghost note percussive impact between them with my hand and my pick on the string. That's it. That sort of sound in the middle. So, pluck, hammer on, percussive, then up pick on the back on the ninth. That's another percussive hit, and this time the way I'm doing it is where I'm, I'm muting the string and picking it. And then there's another hammer on from 9th to 11th there. So I start with the hammer on, percussive hit, 9th fret, ghost note. Hammer on. And that's you just kind of repeat that about four times. Um, the other alternative you can do there instead of having that second uh, ghost note picked there is he he actually plays the twelfth fret with his fourth finger, twelfth fret of the A string. That's a little bit, it's a little bit more difficult to get. To get that down. So, if that's a bit complex, leave that one out. So, I'll recap what we've got so far. We've got, coming out of the uh, chorus. Billy Jean. Is not my lover. Then into our funky strum kind of section. They're up here, ninth to eleventh fret. And you do this. Four times, I think it all is all up. Then back to the funky strumming. And then goes back up to the top again. So the second time round it does that, it actually does a couple, once or twice it's extended. So I'll play through that section. And then you back down. So the way that works, I'll have to play it real slow. So those in that time round, and it does it a second time. Go the hammer on, and I'm just muting and plucking three times, and up, down, up. And 
And it sounds kind of complex, but if you do it slowly, it's actually not so bad. Yeah? So you just repeat that nice and slow. Um, again, it's just, you totally just get the feel for it. And then it's kind of piece of cake from there. So play that whole section. Etc. So, um, yeah, if there's anything you would want, like me to re-explain again, um, just shoot me an email. Happy to record another lesson for you, but um, I hope that helps out. So that's where I was taking that from was after the um, second kind of refrain. The you told me, be careful what you do. Um, after, in every kind of chorus, when it goes to Billy Jean is not my lover, in every chorus, when it goes to the B minor, it does that funky strumming, but it only goes to that. Um, after the second time. And just have a listen to the song um, for the sort of structure, because uh, work out the structure yourself, because it's not too complex. You just kind of got to know when and where it doesn't sort of play like that. Um, but yeah, shoot me an email if there's anything else I can help you with. Um, all the best.